Polypaint allows you to paint on any ZBrush model without needing a UV or textures. You can always do a UV later. Think of it like vertex paint if you're used to any other 3D sculpting software. To start painting on any 3D model, go to the subtool panel, find the subtool you want to paint, and turn on colorize mode by pressing in this paintbrush icon. Now you can select any color you'd like and simply paint it on using any brush that has RGB mode turned on. I like to use the paintbrush because it automatically comes with RGB turned on and nothing else. You can change between the two colors you have selected on your palette by pressing down V on your keyboard or switch color right here. The color on the right is the primary color and it's the one that changes as you actually select a new color. You can use a gradient which mixes both colors that you have selected as well. This can create really interesting effects. As I mentioned in my brushes video, all you need in order to be able to paint is to turn on RGB mode directly on your brush. It can be any brush. For example, the clay buildup. If you turn on RGB mode, it will both add height and color. Next, we should talk about materials. Materials or matte caps can be found right here. And we have a bunch loaded up already. Different materials have different purposes and I recommend playing around with them and finding out what you'd like the most. When you select any material, it will turn the entire model into that material. Materials control how lighting bounces off your model, how reflective, shiny, not shiny, bumpy it is. You can make your own materials, edit the existing materials, or even download some from the internet. If you'd like to paint with materials, you actually have to go through a couple of steps because first you need to embed your main material. In my case, I really like the basic material. It's a very nice one to sculpt with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select any brush and turn on M mode. What this will do is it'll turn on the material channel, which allows me to paint on the material. Before I do anything, I'm going to go to color and fill object. That will fill this whole sphere with my chosen material. It could be any material. Next, I'm going to select the material I wish to paint in. So maybe reflect yellow. And making sure that I still have M turned on for the material channel, I can start painting it on. This is not color, this is an actual material that's being painted on. Let's try it with gold or maybe droplets. It's pretty fun. If you don't do the fill object parts, the whole material will change and it will be hard to preview what you're doing. If you don't like this pixelated look, you need to divide up your model into a higher subdivision, which will allow the material on the per vertex basis to be more detailed.